Well, it's been 24 hours since Peter Ford died. Yeah, it's hard to let go, but you have to. And um, the reason I feel so sad, because I saved him. You know, you get to save people every day. He used to just go to work, pay bills, and, you know, I don't really give a damn about anybody else other than those who are like clones of ourselves. So, what her story was, I was just driving. I saw two cars almost hit her, and then, you know, she was walking slow. So I parked my car, I got out, picked her up, and I looked at her, and she was really sick. So I took her home. You know, Star was like, what the hell? Yo, get that B-I-T-C-H out of here. And I was like, just relax. I got rescued you too. So I put her in the bathroom. I loved her up, and, um, you know, I did everything I could. I took her to the vet, fed her, but she didn't eat. I tried not to force feed her, and... She's just a loving cat. It's a bad situation, which I could relate to because many situations in my life, you know, you know how people are. People will do anything wrong when they criticize. So, and I'm not a bad person, but people are not open minded. Make a long story short, she died last night. And um, I pet her and I played this little relaxing cat music. I cried. And she put a lot of joy in my life. Other people don't. So, they can think what they want about me, but this is my YouTube channel. It's something I can look back on and reflect. And it shows compassion. It shows um, I care. I'm not trying to pat myself on the back, but there's a lot of evils in the world. And uh, if you care about pets, you pretty much care about people. And it's the other way around, too. If you don't, pretty much a hole. But anyway, she died. And I'm going to pray her. I've got this big plastic laundry thing. And um, I'm filled with soil, buy like a backpack. That's what I did for Lucky, or oh, I had one already. And put a big plant on top of it, and you know, life moves on. But she put a lot of joy in my life, and um, I'm happy for the short time that I took care of her. And it made me realize, you know, death is real. I mean, it sounds like, yeah, we know we're gonna die, we're gonna die. But no, when you see it, I'm an ambulance driver, and um, I see it all the time. And, Seeing up front and people die in front of me. See a pet that you really care about, and I know it sounds funny, but I'm not here to impress people or you know, I have a target audience, or I'm just telling my story. That's all. Anyway, I love this cat. She died, and um, I feel bad, but I went to Kinko's, got a picture of her blown up, put on my wall, and the lady said, You know, I had a pet that died, and you. The pet knew that you loved her. And that's all that matters, you know. And when you die, if I die, I hope somebody loves me. And um, I had a lot of girlfriends. And Harvey's my best friend. And Tasha's my best relationship. But neither one of them in my life right now. Harvey died, of course. And this cat had a rough life. And um, her ear was, like, chewed off or whatever. And she was still loving. And um, she died being loved. That's what we all want. And I don't care how much money, what race, what religion. Because eventually you just plant food. So I'm not impressed. I met 200 celebrities in my life. So no, don't try to impress me. Um, anyway, I'm kind of bummed out. But I'm in a good mood. I know I did good. And um, life goes on. All right, end of video.